All right, I did something a little different this year. For Christmas, I asked for our Harbor Freight gift certificates instead of the usual Cabela's. <laughs> I don't know if that's going backwards or what, or what. But anyway, I needed to get some tools to outfit the that new uh, that old barn I'm trying to convert to a little workspace out in the country. And there are just some things I got to have to double up on. So what I decided to do is get a new uh, uh, chop saw and. Bring, get to keep this new one here and take the old one I got at home, uh, here, take this old one here, uh, take this one out to the, take this, the old one out to the country. So and I never really got it out, <clears throat> never really got it out of the box or nothing yet. So I'll get it out of the box and see what we got. All right, looking at these things side by side, they don't look a whole hell of a lot different. There's a few differences on them. Nothing, nothing major though. Um, this one has got a keeper to keep the. Uh, this has like a little chain to keep the. To keep the. Uh, to keep the motor or to keep the handle up and down, and this one just has the usual, uh, you know, push in and out deal on it. Other than that, the only thing I can really see different is the way the guard is shaped. And this thing's kind of flimsy here. And the, uh, the way you change your angles, you change it with, a, it's got a, like a hex, I got a hex bolt in here like this. Uh, so that's two of, the two of the only really big changes I see. Um, and, and then obviously the handle. That handle's changed. This one just has that single. This just has a single, uh, single trigger thing, and this has got that, just like those wood saw, the wood miter saw has got that thumb deal. Uh, and then this one has also, it's got this to change the, you use that to change the, uh, you use the, uh, the hex key to change the blade too. So came with extra brushes. So let me uh, kind of get them turned around here. To, all right, I got a piece of rebarb. Cut it about half. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we'll do the new one first. I think it's about half in it. Should be about half. enough. All right, let's see how this goes. wobble to it. I don't know if it's the saw or the blade. This is a really thin blade though. Now let's just cut one with the old one just see compared to two. Uh, we'll get another piece of rebar here. There we go. Okay. Lock her down. The new saw was slower than the old one. I think these are the bigger, I got the bigger blades on this. The old saw I got the bigger blades on, I think. Yeah, these are eighth inch blades. Right, I, changed the, uh, I didn't change the blade, I re took the blade off and repositioned it a little bit. Let me see here, make sure what we got. Give it another whiz here. They sure didn't make them any quieter, that's for sure. I think 
six of one, half dozen of the other. I don't really see a big difference in it. This is even a bigger blade too. This blade needs changing. That blade's getting kind of chewed up. That blade's getting kind of a kind of bad in here. <laughs> well, it's had a lot of cutting on it, I guess. I guess I'll change the blade on that. Take a couple of them with me. I don't know. I guess uh, seems like it does okay. I don't know if I'm real happy with these thin wheels though. Cutting that rebar. I don't know if I'm. I'm happy with that. All right, I, I changed the blade see. on it. Let's see what it does now. Go about half. Much better. I changed that blade. I put a regular eighth inch blade on it. Put a regular eighth inch blade on it. Never did use those other ones till just now. So I guess those two thin blade at a at a 14 inch blade. I guess that's asking a little much. At least with these Harbor Freight blades. I don't know how much a you know a brand name blade would be. I mean, how, how a brand name blade would cut. I ought to buy a good set of blades and see if there's that much difference in them. People say that it's night and day if they buy a good uh, if they buy a good blade. You know, the only really big difference in it is the uh, the handle. You know, this has got the T handle on it with the safety. This one, the old one, just has a regular button. The thread or the uh, hex key, the hex key adjustment which I'm going to have to weld a washer onto to it anyway because I hate getting a tool out every time you want to change it from 45 to go back again because most of these most of these for branches on them trees I cut them at an angle so I'm going to have to weld a washer on it anyway so so uh, well that's that two saws <laughs>